I will show you how to plot deconvoluted XP spectra by using Origin software. We will consider the example of ONS. The deconvolution of this XP spectra is performed by using XP SpeakFit software. In coming few days, I will upload another video on how to do the deconvolution. So in this case, we have total two peaks within one XPS spectra of oxygen ONS. Now go to the experimental data. So we have a x-axis as a banding energy, y-axis as a experimental data, then the fitting curve, background, peak P1 and P2. Select the data, right click, go to the plot, then go to the symbol and click. Now here you can see a number one is written on the left top corner. Move your cursor over there, right click and go to the layer content. The shortcut key is F12. Click over here. Now in the layer one, right now we have only experimental data, whereas on the left hand side, we can see there are few more data. That is the fitting background and peak P1 and P2. Select the fitting curve, and then over here, you can change option to line and click on the arrow. Do the same for the background, click on arrow, and select these two, and do the same again. So here we want to group P1 and P2, whereas keep background fit and data as independent. If you click over here, you can also change the pattern, line to scatter or line symbol. So right now just keep as a line and click on OK. Now we could see our fitted P1 and P2 and the experimental data, but it doesn't look so good. So what we need to do is now click on the data, a new window will pop up. In this window, we'll see the first is the experimental data. Change the symbol type to the circle and the size to say five and then age thickness, uh, I use around 40. Go to the, the fitting line, change this to red, and the width change to three. Then go to the background, change color to the dark gray color, and line to 1.5. Then go to the peak P1 and P2. First go to the group. Here you can change color, here you can see the line color. Click on this three dot and change this black to blue and the second peak to the pink. Click OK. Now you can go to the line. Over here you can find option for the fill area under the curve. So check this box. Change from normal to second option inclusive broken by missing value. Then apply. Now go back to the group. In the group you will see fill area under the color option. So change from none to by one. Click on these three dots and change this one to the blue and the red to the pink click ok and now apply we can see now the the two peaks has been separated by the color but they look so dark so double click on the peak and go to the line and here you can tune the transparency so choose 50 and apply again now you could see the area for both the curves now click on the scale go to the scale and I want to change the scale from 525 to 536 with the major text by increment say 3 and then apply. Now go to the line and text. Here you will see option use same option for both top and bottom. So check this box. Now major text if you click on this option then you will see there are four different options. I usually prefer inward. Similarly for the minor text, inward and apply. Similarly, go to the, uh, go and click on the left and here check this box again. Change this one to in and this to in and apply. Now here we'll see this number is a huge. So you can go to the tick label and over here you'll see a option for divide by factor. So divided by 1000 and then number will be reduced to 0 to 12 because it's a intensity and we're just plotting one data so it doesn't matter even if you just write arbitrary unit and then click ok now if you don't want to see this box right click and go to the properties in the properties you can see option for the frame in the frame change box to none and click ok so the box will disappear so x-axis is binding energy and the unit is electron volt and the y-axis is intensity or count write down as a u select this one change font size to say 36 
Similarly for binding energy, select the text and change font size to 36. Select the scale and change font size to 24. Similarly for binding energy that is X axis change to 24. Now if you want to add a text, either you can just copy and paste and write down this is O1S. Right hand top corner you can see option enable disable anti-aliasing just click over here it will help you to smooth out the data. I hope through this video you learn how to plot decoded XPS spectra. Please do like share and subscribe so that the video will be reached out to the other XPS user and please press the bell icon button so that you will be updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching.